This is called trying to run two massive burgers across the road. We are stopping traffic. This is the priority of burgers. Just look at it. Hey everybody, I'm just finishing packing up for my trip. It's super late, I should have been bed hours ago. I'm gonna get like four hours sleep, unfortunately. But as I throw all my stuff together in my bag and stuff, super excited to now have my brand new Exter 3.0 wallet. And thanks to Exter for supporting today's video. So what's super cool about this wallet, not only is it literally trackable, yes, that is a tra trackable card right there, so I'm not gonna lose my wallet. I have quick access to my card by just the press of a button. Literally, look at this. I can give you a business card that quick. Also, it's RFID protected and premium leather. So check this wallet out, super cool. Extra link in the description. But uh, yeah, I need to go to bed now. So I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see you shortly. Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here with my good friend, Mr. Scott. And today we're back in Vancouver, British Columbia. Super excited. And today we're at the Cannibal Cafe. We've both actually have completed their previous challenge, which is an eight patty burger. But today we're here for their biggest challenge, the biggest challenge they have, this new endeavor, which is called the Biggest Beast. So what we have to do is eat a massive 10 patty burger. It is over four pounds of beef. It's ginormous. I think it's 30 minute time limit. And that's about it. Scott, ready to do some eating? Absolutely, starving. It's a beautiful day. So they actually have the restaurant like right across the road and they have this patio. So I'm gonna ask them if I can eat it in the patio because I don't want to be in, like indoors. It's like the spring or summer weather is finally here. So let's go eat some food, let's have some fun, and let's go. All right, everyone, so here we are with the biggest beast. So I was totally wrong. So yes, it is 10 patties. Yes, it is four pounds of beef. But what I messed up is actually 20 pieces of bacon and like the full strips, 20 full pieces of bacon, obviously lettuce, tomato, etc. This full thing weighs about six pounds. It's absolutely massive. And we have 30 minutes. Uh, let's just say, I don't, this is pretty big, man, but I think it's gonna be good. Just lay the burger on its side. I guess let's get started. Uh, we'll say, we got your timer? Timer, yep. Wanna count this down from like, maybe five? Sure, I like five. All right, all right. So we'll say five, four, three, two, one. Cheers. That's a lot of bacon. Mm -hmm. There's not as much bacon on the old one. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video as we are in Vancouver, BC, beautiful British Columbia at the Cannibal Cafe. So I was here back in late 2018 and did their Beast Burger Challenge, which is eight patties with eight pieces of cheese and eight pieces of bacon. So for this one today, for the bigger beast, we not only had 10 patties, the 10 pieces of cheese, but we had 20 strips of bacon. This is absolutely huge, total burger being about six pounds and only 30 minutes to complete it. So my good friend, Mr. Scott and me decided we we're gonna take this thing on and give it our all. So the burgers itself tasted really good, very salt forward burger. Uh, that's kind of how I would describe it being seasoned. Of course, the bacon as well, very salt forward, but Oh, it was delicious. Uh, definitely no shortage of saturated fat. And then of course it was topped with the lettuce, the tomatoes, the onions, and then the pickles. This 10 patty version was undefeated. And I actually held the record on the eight patty version, um, which Randy Santel tried to beat last year, but was not able to get the record. That cheese is really good. <laughs> But it's not fat free. <laughs> Whoever cooked it did a good job. Mm -hmm. 
The gentleman who cooked the burgers for us was there kind of, I guess, you know, observing or watching as we were doing this challenge at technically the restaurant across the street. Uh, as I mentioned, we did this out on a patio, which I'm super thankful the Cannibal Cafe allowed us to do because it just made such a cool experience. We had so many people walking by laughing at the burger and uh, it was a beautiful day, so I loved it. The bottom bun on the burger is no longer a bun. It's just a mop of grease. I'm gonna be able to wring it out. Like, it's just, look at that. It's just. If you can see the saturated fat on the plate where the bottom bun and the patty used to be, please give this video a like and comment down below. Uh, of course, you know, it's just a matter of fact of, you know, there being so much bacon and so many burger patties, you're gonna have that amount of saturated fat. But yeah, seriously, comment down below. Let me know if you would like to try this burger and we'll see if Mr. Scott and I can successfully defeat this undefeated burger challenge. This massive, the biggest beast. So at that, everybody, I'll let you get the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy. Tune in, let's see what happens and uh, lots more shenanigans to come. All right, everybody, so some are probably about five and a half minutes in, somewhere in that area. It actually is really good. I'm very much enjoying it. Um, I have about three patties left. Scott has maybe four or five. And that's about it. This is the biggest beast. Yeah. Oh, by the way, it's undefeated. Now I'm down to the healthy part of the burger. <clears throat> There's a lot of lettuce and tomato on that. There's a beastly amount of lettuce and tomato on that. I don't know if you'd see it on the video, but I started it right here on my plate with about a cup of ketchup. <laughs> that ketchup is basically all gone. Salty burgers, bacon, and ketchup. Goes very well. Scott's making keto burgers with his lettuce. This is almost keto. It is honest. almost, yeah. I'm done. Let's see. So we're at 10 minutes, maybe 40 seconds for myself. Scott's just finishing up. He only has basically one burger, like one patty and the bun, a little bit of vegetables. So he's absolutely destroying it. So the biggest beast is now defeated. I guess that means we've conquered the beast and also consumed a lot of saturated fat, but it was delicious. It was absolutely delicious. Excuse me. Honestly though, that was a really good burger. I'm very much, I very much enjoyed it. So, excuse me. We'll wait as Scott finishes up that beast of a burger. And he can tell you what he thought about it afterwards. <clears throat> I think it's the mustache. The mustache gives you like <laughs> plus 5,000 power. That's, that's called bacon and burgers. YOLO, so they say.
my favorite pickles. You don't like them? I hate them. Really? I mean, they're not bad. Some people like like pickles and some people don't. Mm -hmm. I think they're fine. I wouldn't say they're the best thing in the world, but I, I think they're pretty good. Scott, apparently not so much. Mm -hmm. So I think one of those things, you love them or you hate them. Oh yeah, there's the good stuff right there, the veggies. Mm. The healthy stuff. Always eat your vegetables, people. That is the key to being happy, healthy. Just don't eat the 10-pound, don't eat the 10 patty burger, eat the vegetables. Just hit 14 minutes. Scott is literally finishing up as we speak. 14 minutes and 15 seconds. Let's see once that mouth is open. Fourteen twenty-three official Second. time. Fourteen twenty-three. <laughs> what? Second place. Second place. You're not. We're both first. It was undefeated. <laughs> we're the first to finish it. So that everybody, thank you for joining. Hope you enjoyed, Scott. What do you think of the burger? The burger was very delicious. Um, yeah, I, I went down really quick. The bigger burger, or the bigger beast, was a bigger, better burger. It was actually. Yeah. yeah this was this was the beast, but this beast was. Better. It was delicious. It was. I like yeah, it. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Well, I think we need to go get some dessert. We should celebrate our yeah. uh, first accomplished victory on the beast. All right. And uh, there's going to be many more to come. <laughs> so good job, my dude. All right. Awesome. And that. Uh, until next time, everybody. We'll see you here shortly. Of course, stay happy, healthy, hungry. Look at these beautiful shirts. By the way, you can get them. Links obviously in the description. There might also be a ketchup shirt as well. <laughs> I don't want to throw that out there. But anyway, <laughs> see you soon, everybody. And thanks for watching. Until next time. This is called trying to run two massive burgers across the road. We are stopping traffic. This is the priority of burgers. 20 patty burgers are no joke. We take this very seriously. Also super, super special thanks to the Campbell Cafe staff. They were excellent, really, really cool and uh, they've tr treated us really, really well. Like, I'm so thankful we were able to do this outside of the patio, like I said, on such a beautiful day. So that was super cool. When you're ever in Vancouver, you know we're coming for a good burger. They got milkshakes as well. And yeah, the bigger beast. It was big. And a big thanks to Mr. Matty Dutton. Matty Dutton's a subscriber and a lot of, uh, friend of a lot of competitive eaters. So thanks for coming out, my friend. No problem, Joel. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, it was a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too, bro. <laughs>